Right guys, I've been teasing this in videos, in posts, and now it's finally out. Flex is the first full plugin I've built. I've built other tools before, but this one is different. It pulls everything together, bouncing, easing, timing, in a way that finally feels clean. This plugin is everything you need to create crazy, sick animations. And this has been in the back of my mind for months. I had this idea while I was in Malaysia when I made the first Tutox video because I was just annoyed that there's no plugin like this. It's crazy. And now it's ready. It's still in beta version 0.9. I launched it to Today. I'm already using it in every project now and I'll keep using it in every video moving forward. So today I will do a video, a complete breakdown, a complete showcase of this plugin showing why is it so sick, why everybody needs it, why it's the best plugin on the whole market. So let's jump straight into it. Want to get the download? And there's everything inside, there's instructions, how to install it. I can give you a quick rundown. You just need to go to ZXP installer. It's an open source program, just go into here, install it and then drag this onto it and then it's finished, it's installed. You don't need to do anything else, it's very simple. All right, so let's jump straight into After Effects. This is how it loads up. If you don't have it there yet, you have to go to the top, extensions and then flex. Then it loads up like this. Okay, we can also make this full screen so you can see everything here. It's a bit too big. Here's also about usage where everything is explained. Let's create a composition, I'm gonna call it flex. First of all, the menu, everything is very intuitive and it has hotkeys. For example, the tabs, you can just switch with your mouse key. It's extremely important for my workflow because I also do this on the tabs at the top. Now you can just do it here. It's extremely fast. So let's stay at the bounce. This is my signature bounce I now developed and it's by far looks the most sick. So what I'm going to do to showcase it, go at the top, select the rounded rectangle tool, press shift. Like this, then send that with slice txt. Another plugin I made, you can check it out on my website as well. I'm gonna change the fill to white and change the roundness to 100. And scale it down a little bit. So back in Flex, you have a preview of how it will look and you can apply it to every property. You can apply it to the position, scale, rotation, opacity. You can even put it on the anchor point, but we don't need it. All right, so to test it out, I will press P, then separate the dimensions. It's not even needed, but I will do it in the Y position. Bring this a bit forward and then drag this down with shift so it disappeared. And then press U to reveal the keyframe properties. You can do it however you want, just like one keyframe, press here or select both. And then just go here and customize the bounce however you want. And I will give you a warning, you can even put it so high that it clips the screen. So this is not advised. And if you play around with it and you don't like the curve you made, press reset. I will take the signature bounce the best. Then you can just check it out. It's the perfect bounce, you can even make it shorter. This is like in the other videos, it always depends on the duration. And if you make it longer, it takes much longer, but it still bounces, so. But for this animation, you would maybe put it two or three frames before, you could also enable motion blur, and it looks clean as fuck. It's actually illegal. So, if you want, you don't even have to remove it to uh, reapply it, you can just play around with it. For example, let's just say we want it a little bit more extreme, and we want the frequency longer so it bounces more. And also the offset, the damping is basically the offset, but it tells it how fast it will bounce off. So if you put it all the way back, the bounce will never stop. <laughs> I don't know which situation you would need it, but it's there. And this one is a little bit more extreme. As you can see, it looks buttery smooth. And you can also turn it down if you say, okay, this bounce is a little bit too much. You can pull it down and then it's a much more soft bounce. It's exactly what you would want for a bounce engine. I'm in love with this. I made this because I was obsessed with making a plugin like this and I finally put it into a real ass thing and it's perfect. The reset button functions always to reset the UI and it's very intuitive. There's also a nice function. If you press shift and reset, it removes the expression, which is very useful. It's just a workflow saver. If you change the graph and press apply, it's always dynamically applied. What I'm gonna do is press shift and reset and then it's removed then we don't have any bounce applied at all because I want to show you now the other properties so you just see it. You can do it for everything, the scale, and then go to beginning, put to zero, and then again, just we're gonna take the signature, the one that looks the best on everything, and then check it out. Looks perfect. For example, if you were say, yeah, okay, it's a bit too harsh, turn it down, boom, now it's like this. It's perfect. I'm also going to show you the rotation just because I'm at it and turn this to minus 80, doesn't matter, and check it out. Also if you say, yeah, okay, it's too fast, we can turn it down a bit, apply the motion blur, and then check how it looks. This is perfect, guys. I'm in love with this myself. I will use it for everything. This is just a lifesaver. All right, now that's everything for the bounce tab. You can just do it with your mouse cursor or you click on it. And you have a pre-selection, my favorites that I always use for all my products, for my YouTube videos, for my commercial stuff, freelance stuff. 
I use these presets. And the sick part is you only have to click on it once and it's instantly applied. As you can see, it's on it. Boom, easing is applied. You can just click on the other ones and it automatically slaps the new one on. It's extremely fast and it helps a lot with workflow. Again, this move in and out is my favorite one, but all of them are pretty useful. And again, same functionality. It's very succinct, this plugin. I made everything very intuitive. And if you press on any of these curves, just with shift, it automatically removes the easing. And again, this easing works for every property, for everything. If you ever run into a bug or if something is missing, just write my email and I will get to it ASAP. The next one is, is a personal favorite of me because this is a feature I used a lot. And there are some plugins on the market, but they are bloated as fuck. And for me, this is just everything in one. And what I really love about this, especially when you have a long video, let's just say, yeah, you have many different easings, different values, you go back and forth and you have these easings applied here, like this. And suddenly you have a new one. Say so we go to here and we can just press shift and it's removed. And you're on the new one and you say, ah, damn, I want the easing on the other one, but I cannot find out how to get it on the new one. No problem, you just press on the copy easing and it instantly shows you how many keys you copied for. So just go here, then paste it and boom, it's applied. And by the way, if this feature doesn't work, it's because the keys don't match. So let's just say we had three. I'm gonna reset it with shift on this. Let's just say we only had three keys. And if you click on it and the keyframes don't match, it will tell you exactly why and what you need to change. And it's because you need four. So we can just copy one here and then boom, try it again and it works. And also just because I like to have everything clean, let's just say you work in a project, I love to store them here and then you can just keep on working and it's saved throughout the whole After Effects session. But let's just say you wanna clean it up, you press shift on it and then boom, it's clean again and then there's nothing distracting anymore and it's in its default state. All right, this was the curve step. I have plans in the future. I will also talk about this in the end of the video on my plans about this. I have a lot of plans for this because this is my favorite and I personally use this a lot. So I wanna upgrade this and make this the best on the market, like I wanna crush all of the plugins, especially in this sector, it's already the best. I never found anything like this. I, myself, in my own workflow, in my own projects, I look for something like this, but there's nothing like this. So that's a curve step, but in the future, I also plan on introducing a real-time editor and adding the possibilities to save more presets, to adjust them, because right now it's just my favorites. So they're automatically very useful. Let's just go into the last step, into the tools tab. And the tools tab, you can see this is a massive time saver. It's perfect for the workflow. And these are the exact actions you need for a sick workflow, especially when you have a lot of easing, bouncing going on and you need to stagger the layers. And you cannot do this. You cannot be bothered to do this manually. So what you want to do is reset these layers. And first, I'm going to show you this button. This button is sick because there's no button like this in any other plugin because this one is much, much smarter. It doesn't just remove all the expressions, all the easings, all the keyframes. It automatically saves the state in which the object is in and then removes everything. This is perfect. Let's just say you have a sick animation and there's one frame which you want to keep or hold or remove the easing, but force it, like freeze it in time, like in ice. This does it. You just can go through it and then press on it and boom, it's frozen in time. And by the way, all these actions inside this plugin, I specifically coded it so you can reverse them with undo. So you saw right now, I resetted it and just press command Z and it makes sure everything is back. It's actually flawless. To these two buttons, these are extremely useful and this is for my workflow and I use this a lot. And this was also a massive time sink in my projects to just make sure the timeline here, the time head is here and then just press set in and it automatically moves all the layers exactly to the beginning. This is a massive time saver. You can set it out in, boom, 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 works flawless. With multiple ones, you can have thousands of these and just flick it around. It actually works extremely well. Now at last, this feature is also much, much needed and there's no real plugin that does it like this because you can stagger ascendingly and descendingly. And it's not like some weird ass toggle or drag. You just press on it and it shifts by one frame, one frame exactly. And then we can put this back and then also stagger descendingly, one frame exactly. I know sometimes you wanna do more, so you can click multiple times to make it frame perfect or you hold it and it just goes infinitely and it goes in both directions. So this is extremely useful as you can see. All right, now I showed you everything. Here's also the about usage. I showed you in the beginning already. There's all the info so you can access it quickly and it automatically adjusts 
to the size of your window. You can make it bigger, smaller. I wouldn't recommend it making it too small. I obsessed over this. I wanted to make sure the compatibility is as good as possible. So you can make it as small as possible and it's still workable. So it's still possible to make it very small and it's usable, but sometimes it's just, it's too small. So I would recommend it. This size is perfect, like how I run it. You can even put it a bit up and then it's even more minimalistic, but all of them are almost the same size. So it's very succinct, very clean. This is just the plugin. I wish that existed and I finally put it into action. It's fully native, you don't have any dependencies, there are no scripts, no activation bullshit, no subscription tier. So you can copy it down in the description on my website, ebatfair.com. It's still in the beta, so it's the early access right now, discounted pricing. The mouse wheel to switch the tabs, as I told you, shift click for many actions to reverse it. To do things that many other plugins are missing, it's just logical as fuck and it's extremely useful. And this is how After Effects should work from the start. I already have more coming. I want to add a curve editor inside the panel, as I told you, fully interactive, savable presets, custom libraries, preset import export, maybe also an online library. I'm still in the works of doing this stuff because adding these things that I just said, they're way more complex, but I'm getting fully into it. I will improve the fuck out of it. It will be the best, the best maintained, the most useful, the most sexy, just the sickest plugin ever. Also, if you have feature requests, let me know in the description or my email, contact at ebatfr.com. Let me know because I'm building this for actual workflows and not like some plugin on a wishlist on aescripts.com. So <laughs> you can grab it now in the description, ebatfr.com. Check it on my website. Early access dropped right now. One-time download, no license, offline forever and updates free. No bullshit AE scripts manager. If you animate in After Effects, you will probably end up using this on every project. So that's the video, guys. If you enjoyed the showcase, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends to check out this sick-ass plugin because I will not stop. I will keep maintaining it. And if there's a gap, if there's some stuff that's missing, if there's something new, if there's an After Effects update, I will be onto it and I will drop it as soon as possible. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.